My view is now that we have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint, the states will determine by vote or legislation or perhaps both, and whatever they decide must be the law of the land, in this case, the law of the state. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. Welcome back. It's been about a month since Donald Trump put out that statement on abortion as he tries to defuse a political issue that has fired up his opponents. His position, however, has divided some of his political allies in the anti-abortion movement, especially those lobbying him to take federal action on the issue if he wins in November. Susan B. Anthony, Pro-Life America, said the group is, quote, deeply disappointed by his comments, adding, quote, the Dobbs decision clearly allows both states and Congress to act. Conversely, the group National Right to Life praised his stance, saying thanks to President Trump, the American people and their elected representatives on the state and federal levels now have greater authority to determine abortion policy and pass meaningful protections for unborn children and their mothers. Joining me now is the author of that statement, Carol Tobias. She is the president of the National Right to Life. Thank you so much for being here, Carol. We My really pleasure. appreciate it. Let me start off just big picture first which is that if you listen to the statement by the Susan B. Anthony organization versus your statement, it is a reminder that there has yet to be a consensus among the anti-abortion movement about where the future of abortion should be. Why is that, and do you think that undercuts your cause overall? No. The pro-life movement is varied. We come from all walks of life, whether it's income, uh, backgrounds, races, religions, or no religion. So it's not a surprise that we wouldn't be monolithic on anything but the basic premise that unborn children are members of the human family that deserve to be protected. You know, former President Trump talks a lot about a national consensus. He says if he gets back in office, uh, he'll try to come up with a plan that everyone likes. Can there ever really be a national consensus if there isn't a consensus among the anti-abortion movement, the pro-life movement, as you have said? It will be difficult to do something like that on a national basis. There are just too many people with different points of view, either you know, supporting um, abortion, opposing abortion. So I, I don't know that it's going to be possible mm. to get the country to agree on something like this, which is why, um, you know, at least allowing the states to make those decisions is giving the country more opportunity to express their different points of view. Let me ask you a little bit and, and delve into with you what we have heard from former President Trump as of late. Uh, he has said that his overarching positions is that states get to decide the parameters. His former Vice President Mike Pence called this position a slap in the face to pro-life Americans. He even accused Trump of marginalizing the pro-life movement. Do you agree with Mike Pence? Not really. Um, but a little bit. I heard a hesitation <laughs> well, there, well, Carol. I, I don't want to disagree with anybody in the pro-life movement because mm -hmm. we all have the goal of wanting to protect those babies and to help their moms in any way that we can. There are just different ways to go about it. Donald Trump is the, going to be the Republican nominee, and I certainly hope that he is our next president. So I want to work with him and do what we can to help those babies and their moms in, in the ways actually like he did when he was in his uh, first term in office. But I hear some hesitation. Do you wish former President Trump would go further, would support, would say specifically, if I am reelected, here's what I will do in office? For example, I know that you have in the past supported uh, him taking executive action, uh, something that he did during his first term, quite frankly, to limit access to abortion. Is that something that you would expect from him if he is to be reelected? Oh, I think it would be very realistic to expect that he is going to do many of the things that he did very successfully in his first term, making sure that tax dollars are not being used to pay for abortion the way the Biden administration is, quite frankly, breaking the law to get our tax dollars paying uh, through the Department of Defense and, and the VA. Um, and just, just to be clear, they would argue that they're not breaking the law, that what they're doing is legal and protecting access. Except it's to a statute passed right. by I know Congress it's being challenged. and 
But it's I know a statute it's being passed by Congress and signed by the president. But of course, President Biden would argue what he's doing is trying to expand he's access to reproductive rights. But I just, I just want to uh, give that counterpoint because it is an important one, and this is where the fight is being waged. Right? It's being waged in the courts. That's what makes executive action so challenging. But would you press former President Trump because he has not said anything about taking executive actions? He has just said it's up to the states. I mean, does that disappoint you? No. No, he is very proud of being the most pro-life president we've ever had. And I would be very shocked if he was not willing to look at, um, like I said, removing tax dollars from abortion, making sure that medical personnel have the conscience right to object to performing abortions. You know, there are a lot of things that he did in office that uh, we certainly want back in place. And that you would lobby if he were to be reelected oh, yes. for him to yes. be back. I want to ask you about abortion pills. You have the National Right for Life has come out and said that you are uh, opposed to that. Um, Mr. Trump, in a recent interview with Time, said he's going to say where he stands on this. He has not done so yet. Does that frustrate you as someone who has a clear viewpoint on what you think the parameters should be in terms of the abortion pill? What we really want is for women to know that the pill is not as safe as they are being told it is and that it can be very painful. I, I think th th what we are Medi seeing... Medical professionals, though, ha some medical professionals would disagree with that statement, that it's not as safe, that plenty of women but it, have but if you look at abortion pills. But let, let me just ask you, on the face of it, on, on I, I just want you to... Donald Trump hasn't said where he stands on this. For you, it's very simple. For him, he says, I, I will think about it. I will come up with where, you know, what I want to say about this. As someone who has a very clear viewpoint about this, does that frustrate you, someone who supports Donald Trump? I don't expect him to be the know-it-all pro-life person who's been active in the mov movement for many years. Mm. He was president for four years and did a fantastic job for the pro-life movement. I think, quite frankly, he's probably like a lot of Americans, still not sure, you know, trying to figure out mm -hmm. maybe where he wants to go on some of this. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people haven't spent their lives entirely immersed in the movement, so some mm -hmm. of these issues are still new. And I'm curious. I mean, he has said this is a states' rights issue. And you have Democrats saying we don't believe him, that if he gets into office, he would want a federal ban. Where do you stand? Would you support a federal ban? And do you think former President Trump would try to enact a federal ban if he were to be reelected? I don't think he would. He's, said, he's already said that he's not going to. So you believe him? You take him at his word on that point, despite I the do. fact that there's a lot of pressure, as you know, not just from the Susan B. Anthony group, which, which we're talking about here, but from a number of people who uh, are advocates who say that they want a 15-week federal ban. Senator Lindsey Graham, for example, uh, has proposed such a ban. I think pro-life people want any law possible to protect as many babies as possible. But Donald Trump has made it clear that he doesn't support a national ban, a, a, you know, a law against abortion. So I'm going to take him at his, at his word on that. Okay. Carol Tobias, thank you so much for being here and offering your perspective. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.